While Egypt's uprisings make the headline of every news station and publication, the Burmese government has heavily censored the news on Egypt's protests in the state-run and even private media. The state-run television station MRTV has not broadcasted any coverage of Egypt's demonstrations, and perhaps it is because Egypt's demonstrations are too close to home. Egypt's uprisings echo Burma's 2007 Saffron Revolution. Social media has proven to unite and inform people around the world. Citizens use Twitter, Facebook, blogs, and YouTube to capture the heat of the protests and inform the world through these websites. People are using technology as a way to explain their current situations to the outside world. Although Burma and Egypt used social media during the revolutions, Aoundin of U.S. Campaign for Burma says that there are similarities and big differences in these protests. They are similar because uh, uh, social media play important role in organizing people. Mm -hmm. But the difference is uh, in 2007, the revolution was led by the uh, Buddhist monks. Buddhist monks actually they are not allowed to use such a uh, uh, layman layman works. They are actually totally different than layman. I don't think they would they use a social networking system, but they they are they are they were able to organize among their mass population to stand up for the truth. But the other The young people help them by using social networking tools to make their movement larger and bigger. Aside from the social media revolution, these two countries have Nobel laureates in their nations, representing the majority's desires and rights. These democracy leaders are Mohammed Al Baradi of Egypt and Aung San Suu Kyi of Burma. Both are viewed in the majority of their native people's eyes as the should-be leaders of their countries. Aoundin comments that Burma can learn a lot from Egypt's protests. He says that the one important factor that the Burmese must consider when trying to get their democracy is negotiation. In Burma, military did not stand for the people of Burma. Military st- stands for the the dictator. Military stands for the late General Nguyen. So this is the time for the uh, our brothers and sisters in Egypt to 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 realize for themselves instead of protests going on. You know. This is a time they have to take one step back and prepare themselves uh, to be in power. So now or later, they need to prepare themselves to be able to govern their own country. As as long as military is on their side, they have to continue to maintain that position. They have to continue to maintain the military to be on their side forever, every time. If they push too much, if they push too much to the military, then there will be some unforeseen circumstances. <laughs> Egypt's freedom and protests have received attention and sympathy around the world. Although Burma and Egypt have many things in common, from the usage of social media during the protests to the fight against government corruption and economic inflation, Egypt remains quite different from Burma. Egyptians have attained their freedom, and the Burmese still has yet to achieve theirs. For Voice of America, I'm Kaylin.